Red-faced Ben Affleck appears to come out in hives after surprise grilling by Colbert on groping scandal. Ben Affleck was left red-faced after a grilling by Colbert on Thursday. The actor left the Ed Sullivan Theatre in New York with his face covered in a red rash, which looked like hives. Just moments earlier, he had been subjected to a surprise interrogation from host Stephen Colbert who questioned him on his ties to Harvey Weinstein and his own groping scandal. The 45-year-old Oscar winner made an appearance on the show to promote his new movie Justice League on The Late Show and was ribbed by Colbert, 53, for President Donald Trump's past Twitter endorsement of his portrayal of Batman. However, when Colbert waded into dark waters by stating that the person who started your career was disgraced film producer Harvey Weinstein, a seemingly blindsided Affleck responded, This is a comedy show, correct? Colbert said the show also covers subjects of the moment and asked Affleck about his association with Weinstein. The actor let out a long sigh before noting he understood the reasoning, as he said, it was awful to see the extent of these terrible crimes. I haven't worked with Harvey for more than 20 or 15 years. Screen star Reflex said the Weinstein scandal has tainted his affinity for movies such as Shakespeare in Love, Chasing Amy and other Weinstein films that he starred in, knowing now that women had been allegedly assaulted and traumatized. Affleck said he was going to donate his residuals from Miramax movies to charities that benefit women. I don't want to cash a check from the guy, Affleck said to applause from the audience. Colbert then brought up that Affleck himself had been accused of a few things and noted that he apologized for his behavior before asking if the awareness would be a passing thing in Hollywood. What I was accused of by a woman, Hilary Burton, was of touching her breast while giving her a hug. I don't remember it, but I absolutely apologized for it. I certainly don't think she's lying or making it up, the flex said. It's just the kind of thing we have to as men, as we become more aware of this, be more mindful of our behavior and hold ourselves accountable and say, if I was ever part of the problem, I want to change. I want to be part of the solution. And to not shy away from these awkward or strange encounters we might have had, he added. The Fleck acknowledged being uncomfortable during a recent interview when the subject arose and larging awkwardly. I think the most important thing to do is to support the voices coming forward, believe them, and create a business where more women are empowered and in place, so, less of, this happens and so that there is a way of reporting this stuff so that people can feel safe doing it, he said. The Fleck also addressed male privilege as he said, I thought I had a sense of the scope of the problem and I thought I understood it and the truth is I really didn't. I didn't understand what it's like to be groped, to be harassed, to be interrupted, talked over, paid less, you know, pushed around, belittled. All the things that women deal with, for me as a man, I have the privilege of not having to deal with. Part of this for me has been listening to people I really care about and love as they tell me stories of stuff that has happened to them, this is men and women, and recognizing it's a real thing. I'm not spokesman, I'm not a superhero, I can't change it by myself. I can just be accountable for myself and my actions, the flex said. It's been a difficult Justice League promotional tour for Ben. On Fridays today host Savannah Guthrie, refusing to throw the actor softballs, very bluntly asked if a fleck had been told by Rose McGowan that she was raped by Harvey Weinstein. The fleck responded by completely avoiding the question, saying, I don't want to get into other people's individual stories. Those are their stories and they're entitled to tell as much or as little of those. I believe Rose. I support her. I like and admire her tenacity and I wish her the best. Following the Weinstein revelations, the Oscar-winning Argo director released a statement which read, I am saddened and angry that a man who I worked with used his position of power to intimidate, sexually harass and manipulate many women over decades. The additional allegations of assault that I read this morning made me sick.
McGowan took to Twitter to share her response to that statement, writing, God damn it. I told him to stop doing that you said that to my face. The press confi was made to go to after our assault. You lie.